Good morning, good morning, and happy Friday to you. Eduardo, happy Friday. Good morning, Mr. Church. Good morning, good evening to all you guys in Asia, all over the world. Welcome to our Town Hall Show. One more Friday. Uh, we are one week to complete one year. We are excited to initiate our next Maritime Challenge. There you is, go. It's going to get started. You guys have one more week to get that done. So you're welcome, guys. Big pleasure to have you guys here. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe on our channel. If you just start right now, you know what? With some people uh, watch our live later afterwards. Don't forget to subscribe on our channel. Be part of what we are doing. Uh, we are getting ready to return on board and everybody have to be with us. That's it. There is just so much cruise news happening this week. Uh, as we get closer to, you know, sailing back in the U.S., they've been sailing, of course, over in Europe. They've had some very successful cruises with MSC. They're actually on their second cruise. No big deal. No problems. No COVID cases. Uh, it just shows that the cruise industry is prepared for this. We will welcome them back very shortly, actually next month into the United States. And there's so many new rules. Uh, actually, the rules have been relaxed in many, many cases. There are ships on their way back. There are crew getting vaccinated. And today, you know, we have a lot to talk about. We have not only uh, are the cruise ships coming back to the States, but what do crew want on board? Now, stay tuned because there's, uh, there's some questions. What is the most important thing that a crew member likes on board? We have that answered for you. We also celebrate one of our partners who are having a seventh anniversary. That's also isn't that got. great. We're also highlighting the the new uh, CTI Go Video platform, which will uh, actually we've done some soft launching, and it's amazing how many people are in that platform. You will have the opportunity to go to that platform as well and register with us. So we also have recruiting. We're doing recruiting, live recruiting. So uh, guys, stay tuned. It's a very very packed show. The first thing we want to do today, it's a happy birthday. To who? To Harold. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> happy birthday, Harold. Harold, we're going to wave this way because you guys can't see him. He's over there. So a happy birthday to Harold and a happy birthday to Natasha. Oh, the, the same day? Yes. Wow. It's like brother and sister. That's so awesome. anyway, we wish them a very happy birthday. If you know Harold and in the chat, by the way, many of you know Harold because, and if you don't know Harold, the guy who's actually behind the camera, he's making us uh, look as good as we possibly can look. He's the one running the videos and putting the show together. So again, a big shout out to Harold. And as far as Natasha goes, a lot of the videos you see, she writes the script for them. And so we're extremely happy to have them. Now, one of the things that, that birthdays remind me of is we always reflect back. So last night while I was putting part of the show together, there was something that popped up on my phone. And I think everybody gets this every once in a while. It's uh, something that Facebook does. They send you the memories yes, of the day. they do. Okay, so this is something, and I want you guys to have a look at this. This was actually May 27th, I believe, of last year. And it popped up on my, th on my phone, and I thought I would share it with you. Have a look at this. so great is when you have a birthday you reflect back and when that came last night i thought well where am i in that but it was things that happened during the time and and as you probably see you know that was right when the pandemic was started there was still a lot of lives on the ship there were people waiting to go home we saw the the guys from thailand mm -hmm. saying that thailand is finally letting uh, them back into the country we saw our offices in jakarta everybody there celebrating so guess what guys it's time to do that again yeah, it's time to to celebrate. Everything is is getting brighter and brighter, and of course, we want to get on board of that and get ourselves ready. 
Uh, we know that lots of people is handing back to the ship mm -hmm. and we want to help you guys to be ready. So you will be one of those. As we're talking about celebration here, anniversary, one of our partners, OTC Bali, they are celebrating like last week. But when you're celebrating, you use the whole month, the entire month to celebrate the seventh anniversary. And we are very proud to have them with us on board. Uh, they are preparing amazing professionals. The students walk there and they turn in amazing professionals. So you you have watched some. Oh, yes, some, yes. Some, We've some got some video students. to present yeah, later. We do, we do. Yeah. So you guys stay tuned because as last week, we open up the link for you guys to apply through our video resume where you can go to a video interview and one way interview. It's very simple. The link will be below here after the words, after the this live stream you guys can double check the position that we're going to mention here and maybe one of those positions is the position that you you're good with you specialize yourself with and we, we are recruiting guys right we, we are recruiting yes and we are open for new talents and people that uh, want to have their life transformed so you stay tuned and stay with us and don't forget give your like subscribe on our channel put your comments what you think about this new uh arising that we have right now because from now on it's just going to be great news and that's what we expect from everybody from now on on all of our friday show you're going to see what positions are available so it's important to tune in and and as eduardo said subscribe you know we we get the analytics from uh, youtube and it says that 60 percent of the people who watch don't subscribe and i don't know why because if you subscribe, you get notified first. I mean, if I would rather come and deliver you the news than you come to me, I would be the first to know, right? You know, I think this is a tricky from YouTube because this happened with all uh, content creators. Like, uh, because what happened is when people are searching about a subject, for example, search about cruise line or work on a ship, they're going to send to us everybody who provides that content. And of course, they're going to send to them our videos, our lives. And those people never maybe never seen uh, what we do. And of course, they, they're not subscribing our channel. That's why I want to encourage you if it's your first time, so watch more, go into our channel. you see all the videos there. And then if you like this content, then be part of what we do. Because uh, this is the way that you the algorithm uh, use to increase your audience. They don't deliver the content only to your audience. They deliver to more people so you can continue growing. That's why our numbers, we are most 6,000, if not 6,000, right? Yes, yes, over so six. that's how our numbers continue growing because right. they, are, they are sharing our content with more people than before. And you know, it's amazing. There are, I think, viewers, it, the number is so high, right? It's very high, and I, and I will get back to you just because I don't want to give you the wrong number. But it, it's so important that also that you give the likes because that's how YouTube judges yeah. you. And a comment, right? The if you're part of likes. the cruise industry, you want to be part of the cruise industry, say, I want to be part of this industry. I'm proud to be part of this industry. So put your likes, put your comments there. Uh, it's important for us as, a, as a YouTubers here and, of course, as a recruiting company because we're going to continue to give you more and more information. All right, now, one of the most watched videos that we've had actually uh, in quite a while, uh, Mr. Richard Fain from Royal Caribbean, he made a statement just, oh, last week, and he says, we have made it. It feels good to deliver this message. This has over 8,000 views, and it's only been on our channel for three days. If you have not seen this and you're in the cruise industry, it's, uh, as you know, Mr. Uh, Richard Fain is the CEO of Royal Caribbean Group, but it's for the whole industry. So it doesn't matter if you're from Holland America, Carnival, whatever. He talks in general about the vaccinations, how things are going to be. We have some new information about the CDC coming up in a few minutes so uh, again go to our channel check that out uh we'll leave uh just again click the like and we'll notify you right that's it okay you know we're talking about the cdc now and the cdc is uh of course plays a very key role in the cruise industry and they have come up with some new rules they released them actually uh, i believe it was last wednesday so some very, very important information about masks, about, again, buffets coming back, about crew members uh, wearing masks, about passengers wearing masks. 
you know, they're they're now saying that masks do not have or will not have to be worn in certain places. And what we've done, we had our uh, uh, I go, again, I will thank Odie for this. He has put together a video overnight called CDC updates, less mask on cruise ships. And I can tell you what, if you work on a cruise ship, if you are going on a cruise ship, please watch this. Some great new information here. Hello and welcome to CTI Group's channel. The CDC has recently released new information on the 26th of May, detailing some updates to their onboard protocols and requirements. Many of these updates involve less strict mask wearing and social distancing guidelines for vaccinated crew and passengers. Keep in mind that much of what we will be going over in this video is up to the cruise operator's decision, so everything is dependent on the ship you will be working on. So, first things first. Mask use. As we know, masks have become a part of everyday life ever since the beginning of the pandemic. But now, with the existence of the vaccine, some mask requirements are not as strict as they once were. Unvaccinated passengers will still be required to wear masks indoors unless in their own cabins. However, depending on the cruise ship operator, it may be possible that masks won't have to be worn by those who are unvaccinated when outdoors unless in a crowded area. Now let's move on to the mask guidelines for those who are fully vaccinated. Once again, remember that these protocols are dependent on the cruise ship operator's discretion. Crew and passengers who are fully vaccinated will be allowed to gather outside or conduct outdoor activities without wearing a mask. Vaccinated crew members will not have to wear a mask or maintain physical distance in crew areas where passengers are not permitted. It is also possible that ships will have designated areas for those who are fully vaccinated in which masks and physical distancing will not be required. These areas could be within casinos, bars, spas, entertainment venues, and dining areas. When it comes to physical distancing, many protocols that have already been put in place remain. For example, limited capacity in entertainment venues, rearranged layouts of dining areas, and signage reminding people to remain two meters apart are all requirements for normal voyages. However, on ships that have at least 95% of crew and 98% of passengers fully vaccinated, these guidelines are only recommendations and not strictly required. This also means that the elimination of self-service food stations is only a recommendation under these conditions, so it might be possible for some ships to have buffets. Ships that match these vaccination conditions may also not require masks or physical distance in any areas on board. We hate to be repetitive, but as we've said, a lot of these regulations depend on each individual ship. The cruise ship operators are given the ability to decide whether or not certain protocols are put in place. Always carefully look over the mask and physical distancing guidelines given to you when receiving your assignment. That being said, this update has brought a lot of clarity to the industry from the CDC. We are grateful that things have been moving in a positive direction for US voyages. All information we have shared in this video came from the official CDC website. Please visit their cruise ship guidance page at www.cdc.gov slash quarantine slash cruise for additional information and any other updates as the information is always changing. Were you excited to hear this news? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your fellow crew members. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to be updated whenever we release new content. Thank you all for watching, stay safe and have a great day.
There you go. The CDC latest updates. Again, we have to be very clear with you, right? This seems to change on a weekly basis. So in that video, you will see the link. Go and check the link. Also, check with your cruise line if you're going back to work. They will give you full instructions about their mass policies as the CDC has left it up to a lot of cruise lines to implement that policy. So again, I, I can't stress enough. Uh, this is a video of information that actually came out yesterday. And I want to thank Mr. Odie and Jakarta and of course, Mr. Mrs. Natasha for putting that together so quickly to present to you. We will also be putting this on our website. And also, I want to welcome, oh, there, there's, uh, you know, on LinkedIn, we get a lot of people who, who watch our videos and uh, say hello to us. We want to say hello to them. I know there's some uh, people from Pullman Tours that have been uh, in the comments. We yeah, want to uh, say welcome to them. We know that uh, Pullman Tours at this point uh, is not a company, although I hear it's coming back. We thank you for uh, being out there as well. And, of course, all the people from OTC. Yeah, we have lots of videos here uh, regarding OTC. As we have mentioned to you guys, it's the seventh anniversary and we want to celebrate. As we, I just spoke to you guys here right now, we're extremely proud of them. Uh, they are growing a lot, lots of good students, amazing students. And we're going to bring you some testimonies from the students, the perspective from the students, so how they feel uh, studying, learning, growing at OTC. And for you guys that is watching us, of course, if you want to pursue your career in the hospitality industry, we recommend you, we suggest you to go to the link in the description here, otcbalicollege.com. You guys can register there. I think the news, I think, no, I'm sure the new season is starting now in July and you can be one of the students that in six months you can see your life transform. Even if the, the whole course take one year, two years, but in six months, I can guarantee you you're going to have your life transform because we have some testimonials of people that even in the middle of the pandemic, when everything was shut down, they start to study at OTC, even from home, OTC was giving them the knowledge, giving them the, the guidance. And they got they got job to work in uh, Maldives, to go to Dubai, to go to Taiwan, and their English is just amazing. I, I'm very impressed, right? So even speaking Mandarin, I saw. Even right? Mandarin, so yeah. it's 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 celebrating not only about the day itself, but also uh, all the things that OTC has accomplished here. And I always shout out to all the eight branches they have, and they're continually growing. So a big shout out to Leo, Miss Wawas. We have the videos to show you guys here. You stay tuned because it's, it's going to be a nice one. You know, we've been talking about crew members going back to the ship. And I want to thank uh, Rowena from our office in Yangon, right? CT, CTI Myanmar. Mm -hmm. She shared these picture with us, uh, pictures with us. And she is from the, she's a general manager there. And there's actually thousands and thousands of crew members going back. Mm -hmm. And also, I want to thank CTI Bali, Jakarta, Jogja, as they're all working together as a great team putting this together. There's Pruita, mm -hmm. there's uh, Millennial who's putting people back. So, again, thank you guys for all of all that you're doing. I know they're staying up late. They're working weekends. Uh, we talk to them occasionally. And this is just the beginning. You know, I, I, and I don't even want to say this, but if your documents are not ready, shame on you, right? Your documents should be ready because those are the people that are on the list and going back. The other thing, of course, is vaccinations. Vaccinations is going on fast and furious. We have a picture here, the Majestic Princess. Their crew were all vaccinated, 200 of them as the princess uh, pulled into port. But all of the ships, they're pulling into many of the ports in the U.S. Uh, they're coming on board and vaccinating those people. You got your vaccination, right? Oh yeah, a long time ago. Okay. Yeah. So I, actually we've been talking about vaccination a lot and I, I believe if you haven't taken your vaccine in your country, allow you to do, so please go ahead and do it. I can see the environment here in the United States has changed. Uh, all the bars, restaurants, uh, move theaters, they are all open. And I think do the, the vaccine that people is taking. So don't, don't hesitate to do that. So go ahead and collaborate with the world do your part because I know that some people they are trying to ah, I'm not going to do that but so and it's a choice if you choose not to yeah. do it that's up to you you know uh, there's going to be places that say well if you want to work here you have to be vaccinated yeah. if and you want to stay alive on the world right because if this like, unfortunately the majority are always going to win so if everybody's taking the vaccine and you don't want to take the vaccine it's going to be some restriction for you in some locations maybe some people they're not 
you know. Anyhow, it's just uh, we've been talking about vaccine, extremely important, even for you guys that leave your country, go to other country. You don't want to get sick in a different country, right? You know how they, they will go. Oh, so, yeah, absolutely. So make absolutely. sure you get your vaccine, even for you guys as students, right? You go abroad, you go to uh, get your internship uh, somewhere else. So make sure you get your vaccine before you leave the country. If you don't have your vaccine, I suggest you to stay, right? At least wait one year until all this settle and then you, you travel without vaccine. But if you want to continue working and growing in the middle of this war, so take your vaccine. This is the more... Uh, intelligent choice. So guys, uh, we invite you to stay with us through the show. We're going to be talking about positions that are available mm -hmm. at Carnival right now, positions that are available at Morella, Virgin, uh, the Apollo Group. So don't go away, but we want you to know the most eight or the eight most important things that you need to know if you were going back on board. Very, very important information. Take a few seconds, watch this video. And again, as we say, this is news for crew, but it may change before you go back. But it's good to have information before you go. Are you a crew member who has been waiting around at home for your ship assignment now that cruising is starting again? Or maybe you've already gotten your assignment, and are getting ready to set out to sea after such a long time. But now you're questioning what life will be like back on board. What can you expect from all the new protocols and guidelines to ensure that the COVID-19 virus doesn't spread? We will be counting down the top 8 most important things to know as you begin your new life on board. Before anything though, we would like to start by saying that you should pay attention to what your company sends you as some protocols between cruise lines may differ. Also, be aware that things are always changing during these times, so make sure you are always up to date with the newest information. Number 8 So, first things first, you get your assignment. Now what? Well, it's important to know the process of getting back to the ship. You'll most likely be asked to conduct a self-isolation from home for 14 days before leaving. This means staying home and only going out for necessities. Once you are within 72 hours of your departure, you will have to take a PCR test. Contact your agent to figure out scheduling for your PCR test, and so they can assist in booking your flights to get to your embarkation point. Your test should come back negative before going any further. After that, it will be time to travel to your ship. As we have mentioned, make sure you have already contacted your agent to figure out flight departure times in advance. Number 7. You've made it past these first couple of steps, great! Now on to what's next, which is traveling. When starting your journey to whichever ship you are assigned, your company will ask that you wear your mask, and maintain social distance from others as you get from point A to point B. Along with having all of your usual documents with you, such as STCW certificates, passport, medical records and other required paperwork, make sure you also have a copy of your negative PCR test with you. That negative test is super important to get on board your ship, so don't forget it. Also make sure that you have some cash with you as you travel just in case any incidents occur during your journey. Number 6 You're at the port, amazing. It's time. The ocean awaits. You can smell the salt, feel the breeze. But wait. Hold on there. There's still a few more things you have to take care of before stepping aboard. You will need your temperature checked and to complete a COVID-19 test. Once it is confirmed that you do not have the virus and you provide all of your required documents, it will be time to step on deck. Number 5 You've made it on the ship, how exciting! But it's time for some onboard quarantine before you can start working. After all that travel to get to your ship, you will have to go into quarantine. The length of this quarantine may vary depending on the country your ship is in or the cruise line you are working for, but expect it to be anywhere between 7 and 14 days. We recommend bringing something with you to pass the time. You could download movies or TV episodes on your smartphone or tablet before boarding, take a book, or even a sketchbook to draw in while quarantining. You may also have to complete some virtual training for your cruise line during those days. This would also be a great time to check out our YouTube channel and the many useful videos we have created for you. You could even use this time to practice and register for our Maritime Challenge, which is an online talent contest we have created for all seafarers.
while we are on things the that you need to know before you go back on board and a little bit of the maritime challenge one of the things is self-quarantine on the ship again we we highly suggest you take us with you basically uh they have free internet on on board so we'll be here yeah and the maritime challenge tell me more so the maritime challenge you guys it's the opportunity that you have to show your talent things that you love to do like cooking dancing uh telling jokes telling stories have a different skill what you have to do is prepare a nice video edit that video spend some time on it because you might win one thousand dollars we have four thousand dollars in prizes airline tickets tablets phones iphones and uh air, cameras, airports cameras iPods, yeah. all the money i would suggest you to take the money i would take the money easy for us give easy, me the money for yes, you right of course but i have four thousand dollars in prizes so what you have to do go to our website cti-usa.com it's a uh, area there that says really big maritime challenge to register here yeah and then you click that you're going to register but when you register make sure that you already have your video uploaded to youtube so you can post that your link and then we are going to see if your video is nice we are going to download your video and then present your video here into our show and then as you go to the playoffs and the finals you're going to be able to win over a thousand dollars but you have to do your best because i'm gonna we're gonna show you guys here what this maritime challenge is about just a little bit what Carnival is doing right. Carnival is, uh, yes. is challenging themselves, yes. doing something outside the box that like they haven't done that yet. They do that for those people into the ship you can see, but never in video. And I suggest you guys to do the same. I invite our students from OTC, Bali, Jenya, uh, Denpasa, Nusa Dua, uh, Singaraja, Jembrana. OTC has <laughs> everywhere. All you guys submit your video because I know as a student, you're very creative, you have lots of time mm -hmm. and you can start to participate. I saw that some, some students was already put something together, but go to our website and upload because next week we are going to present our first maritime challenge and can be yours. But you know, also all the guys who work on the ships, right? They're very talented. Yeah. I mean, I, you, you look at the farewell that they do in the dining room and you've got Two or three hundred dining room stewards sitting there singing, dancing, doing whatever. You sing, you dance, you tell jokes, put it on a video. It doesn't have to be professional by any means. Send it to us. That's what we're looking for. And there'll be a competition between ships and ships. Last week or last year, it was Royal Caribbean. The mm -hmm. guy, the HR manager from Royal Caribbean, he won. Did some great, great things. So uh, uh, we had a guy from a tanker, an oiler. So don't be shy, guys. Get your video in there because there's lots of money and prizes to be won. It's open to everybody. Go ahead. As long as you're a seafarer or you plan to work on a cruise, go ahead and do it. And, you know, you may be home and not working now. Like, for example, those guys from uh, uh, Pullman Tours or Costa or, you know, AIDA. You're all invited. MSC, everybody's invited. So just don't think just because we're in Miami, it's, you know, it's here for Miami cruise ships. It's global cruise ships. We hope to see you. You know, something new that Carnival has started. It's called Can You Feel It? Nice new videos that they'll have on their uh, webpage. We'll put the link there. But their first video is, it's a video series of fan favorites. In other words, if you've cruised on Carnival, these are some of the favorites. So they're going to be putting some of the videos out there. This is their first one. It is a quick demonstration, which, as you said, could be easily the Maritime Challenge. And it's on Spaghetti Cabanara. So let's have a look. There you go. Chef making some spaghetti. Doesn't that look good? Look also. So right. I was watching here the, the comments here. Lots of people from OTC. We have people from Bali as well. People from Jakarta. So tell us where you're coming from. Your country, your location. Uh, if you want to work on a ship and which ship would be that. So if you want to work for Carnival, you want to for Virgin. You know, one day I was in a seminar. I was doing a seminar in Bali. And... Believe it or not, I ask everybody, oh, if you have the opportunity to work on a cruise line, which cruise line would you like to work for? The majority of people would like to work for Carnival. Yeah? Yeah. It's a popular cruise people. line. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Carnival is fun, and, and, and they know that. They know that. That's, that's good. You know, speaking of Carnival, again, going back to that video, that was uh, Chef uh, Rosan D'Souza, and mm -hmm. we thank him for doing that demonstration there. Again, he works at Carnival, and I believe there's some drink demonstrations coming up, so uh, we'll bring those to you as well. Now, back to OTC and celebrating seven years. 
Yeah, the video. Oh, yeah, so we have a video on that. <laughs> Hi, I, Eduardo Ferraz. Would you like to congrats OTC Bali College for the seven year anniversary? We at CTI has worked really closely with you guys and we are extremely proud of your growth. To Mr. Leo, Ms. Wowers, to all directors, teachers and employees working with OTC, feel proud of what you guys have accomplished. To all the students at OTC family, you guys feel good about yourself, about your education and congratulations to you as well because over the seven years OTC has transformed students in an amazing professional. I look forward to see you guys. Congratulations. This is your day. When, when I was studying in vocational high school, I didn't know how to speak English correctly. I didn't know what is tenses, what is grammar, and the other things like that. Because I never speak, spoke English. If, even I really didn't like it before. Uh, because, and since I joined it, OTC, I know that English is really important. And that's why I want to improve my English every time. And so far, I've been, I've been studying here. I feel my English has been getting better than before. Because when we were still learning in the class, the management of OTC asked all students to make a video twice a week. We had to speak one minute in English and one minute in Mandarin with different topics every single day. And for me, it really helped me. It really helped me at improving my English. And also, I could know more about new vocabularies. And the second thing is about the instructors. When they were teaching in our class, especially for who had work experience on the cruise line, they serve about their experience and about the important thing of the cruise line. And that's really important for me because I have a dream to work on the, on the cruise line later. I think that's all for me. And as we know, today is OTC's anniversary. We would like to say happy 7th anniversary for OTC Bali. OTC is the best. We are all seafarers. Yes. yes, yes, yes. And success, success, success. Uh, like congratulations that. to OTC Bali and their seventh anniversary. We do have some more information coming up for them in a minute, right? Oh, yeah. We do we have more videos, guys. Just guys, stay tuned because then we're going to show you guys the celebration. Parts of the celebration was amazing. Uh, I'd love to be there, but unfortunately, we're still here, you know, kind of preparing. But we're going to be there soon. You know, we also want to mention that uh, in, in the show, you know, we do talk about Indonesia. We're very strong in Indonesia. But there are there's Vietnam, there's uh, Thailand, there's Myanmar, uh, there's also Malaysia, mm -hmm. and, and, and global. We have a lot of people a, a, around the world are still applying, right, whether it be from Europe and Asia, uh, even the Middle East. So uh, we want to shout out to you. We don't forget you guys out there. And it's one of the reasons we want to talk about jobs that are available. And the jobs are open to a global community community and we're on the phone constantly with the cruise lines talking about what the needs are what the future brings and it's a very exciting time we've had a whole year and a half almost of, of the pandemic and everybody's tired of it they want to get back to work back to cruising and we are going through this this uh, staggered startup right not all ships will start at once but they will come fast and furious just in bali alone and jakarta and Jogja, we've sent over three thousand people back to the ship 
And, you know, we have 11,000 crew members in Indonesia, just Indonesia alone for Carnival. And a lot of people are, uh, you know, excited to go back. Some will not go back. Some, uh, you know, mothers and fathers say, we don't want you to go back. Or husbands and wives saying, we don't want you to go back for a certain reason or give it some time, as you say, maybe go a little bit later. But uh, lots of people are going back. So let's talk about some of the jobs that Carnival is looking for at the moment. All culinary positions. Go to our website. You'll find a place there to apply. All the culinary positions, uh, cooks, assistant cooks, line cooks, chefs, uh, demi parties, bakers, uh, crew cooks, you know, housekeeping, utility, all of those. I think we're not quite on the right place there, Harold. (laughs) <laughs> That's coming in a few moments. All right, guys. But uh, anyway, th- these are the positions that we're looking for. Uh, deck and engine, lots of deck and engine positions, bows and oilers, wipers, greasers, fitters, upholsters, uh, restaurant stewards, assistants, lots of females. You know, we did a video not so long ago on uh, needing more females. If you're a female and you want to work in any position, and we've been told this for Virgin, for for Apollo, for Carnival, any female out there who wants to work on a ship, please get in touch with us. If you have some experience, we'll be happy to have you. And of course, that's not to forget the males, right? Yeah, no, of course, the males is, well, we know it is a majority, but we always welcome the females, you know, in going through interviews with them you can see the difference between males and females each one of them has a different strengths that's why when they combine together they go to the ship they turn that environment in something great so you guys are extremely welcome to apply and the link is right here below when we finish this live here guys you can get your resume prepare yourself take a find a quiet place and then you can submit your video resume don't worry because the system is going to help you guys do everything you don't have to record it just you you need your your pc it can be a laptop i recommend the laptop but if you don't have a laptop you can use your mobile just find it make, make sure that you have a stable uh internet connection and your phone can be stable don't don't shake your phone like this because it's not gonna go, look good but extremely important for us you to apply and show us all your strengths, all your skills, and we are going to see which cruise line better fit for you. You know, we also recommend that you don't use the little microphone. I see where people put the headphones yeah. in, then you've got this little microphone, and, use and t- you're you're holding it, and blah, blah, blah. You know, don't do that, right? That Because, again, presentation is everything. Yeah. You get one chance to do this. So go someplace where it's nice and quiet, right, where the Internet connection is good. And even if you have to go to one of the offices or to a an Internet cafe where it's quiet, on you know, on a time when it's not busy at an Internet cafe or a Starbucks. But, but again... Understand, you can take the video over and over and over again just yeah, to if get you it don't, right. If you don't have a headset, which is like more professional, you know, going to give you a better... Just use the, your device uh, audio in, in and out, so you're going to be okay. Don't don't worry about, like, using that, uh, like, I don't know how you call that. Headset with no, a the, microphone the, on the, it? The, the headset, the, the big one, that's nice. Like the, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, the yeah. Headset. That's a, but if you only have that... That is small one that comes with cables here. So don't you, that has a lot of interferences. So just make sure you can use your, your own uh, device. And also the, the sound quality is not the good. Si- the but you know, the, the phone itself will pick you that's up. That's what I'm saying. Right? Use, use, use the your, microphone. Yeah, the microphone, the, the in and out, it's good for your device, your computer or your mobile. It will be fine. You know, CTI has developed this Go video system, and uh, this is something we've been working on for quite a while during the pandemic. And naturally, we we uh, uh, the reason that we we have this program is that a lot of cruise lines. What used to happen is they would fly over to Asia to Europe. They would do one on one interviews. Uh, Now they're asking for a video interview. And this is real important, guys. So, again, this is why we ask you to take your time. We have a system called Go Video. And probably ask yourself, why should I do a Go Video? Well, have a look at this. Picture this. You're sitting in your room scrolling on your phone, while thinking about all the possibilities the world has to offer. But there's a problem. You don't know how to get your name out there. 
You don't even know where to start. Here at CTI Group Worldwide Services, it is our goal to make all those problems disappear for you. With our new video interviewing platform, CTI Go Video, you will be able to apply to incredible opportunities on board all types of cruise ships. We're stepping into the future and want you to take that journey with us. So, why should you take part in GoVideo's application process? Well, there are so many reasons, but let's start with a simple one. You can carry out this interview from your own home. That's right, as long as you have a smartphone, tablet, laptop, or computer, you will be able to do your video interview in a place you are familiar with. And to make the whole process even easier, we've already created a tutorial video so you will know how everything works. Reason number two. You will have more time to prepare yourself for the interview. As you will be carrying out these interviews in your own time, you will be able to practice all you want so that you can give the best possible responses. The platform even allows for retakes on some questions, so if you do mess up, you may have the chance to do it again. Reason number three. Your interview and resume will have the potential to be seen by many of our clients. Although you will be able to apply for a specific cruise line, your interview will be stored allowing for endless possibilities for your future. Cruise lines from all over will see your strengths and determination. And finally, reason number four. This type of platform is what many companies will be moving towards in the future. Joining our GoVideo will set you ahead of the rest as we are one of the first few companies in the industry to have virtual interviews. This is a great chance for you to grow and learn about something everyone will be doing in the years to come. We may have only given you four simple reasons, but what more do you need? GoVideo is an amazing opportunity for anyone interested in reaching out into the world, so take advantage of it. If you want to take part in the GoVideo experience, head on over to our website, www.cti-usa.com, click on the jobs title at the top, find your department, and click the link that goes with that department. It's that simple to get started. However, don't forget to watch our tutorial video before beginning your GoVideo adventure. Once you enter the platform you will be expected to complete a virtual interview that will ask some basic questions about your career experience, so be prepared. Our hope is that you have realized the big steps we are taking to assist you in your career journey. GoVideo is definitely an experience that you won't want to skip out on. So, go to our website now so you can become someone who gets to be a part of something brand new and exciting. Let us know in the comments below if you are ready to do your first virtual interview. And share this video with any other hopefuls out there. Finally, subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell, so you can be notified whenever we release new content. That's all for today, good luck to everyone applying on GoVideo, and have a great day. All right, guys, regarding the Go Video platform, it is there. And uh, this is, we're still uh, beta testing. There's a lot going on, which is great. And then, you know, as you watch the show, you're some of the first to see it. We haven't launched it, as you see on our website yet, but that will be in the next week. We, we keep saying, if you go to our current website, that there's a new website coming. We haven't launched that yet as well because we're still perfecting it. We want to make sure that when we launch it, that it has as little kinks as possible. And as you probably know, IT, you know, you have to... Uh, uh, fix this and fix that and test this and test that. And that's exactly what we're doing. The way the go video works is, uh, as Eduardo says, you know, there'll be a link. We will get uh, your information. You will put the video up there. There will be jobs listed there. Uh, these also will be listed on our website. So lots of exciting things as we push through this again, there's thousands and thousands of people out there looking for jobs. We know this, and this will be one avenue to help them. Last week, we also mentioned about the Go video, which is the link is right here below. You can go through that after the after our show. 
Uh, and we have over 50 people that who apply through that, that link. So I suggest you when we finish here, you grab your resume, take a look over and over and get yourself ready before you click on the link and go through. Because the link is, is going to take you through step by step and it's going to help you to deliver your best. But keep in mind also that the, the Go video itself platform is for everybody, right? We'll be, uh, there'll be all kinds of positions. I believe in the system right now, and you guys can't see this, there are over 600 positions there at the moment. So once that opens up, Guys, be ready. You want to be the first to be in there. Since you've seen this show, you will be seeing the first link. That's right? It. There's candidate interviews. There's all kinds of interviews. And uh, anyway, moving on, moving on. Uh, you know, go to www.ctiusa.com. That is the place to uh, get some more information. And look for our new website, and it is coming up very, very shortly. We've got another video coming up from OTC. Yes. Right? Let's watch that. Selamat pagi dan selamat datang di OTC Belgianya dalam rangka Hari Ulang Tahun OTC Belgianya. Pada kesempatan hari ini kami mengucapkan puja dan puji syukur kehadirat Tuhan yang Maha Kuasa berkat berkenaan beliaulah OTC Bali hari ini merupakan hari jadi yang ketujuh. OTC sukses. Salam sukses. 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 about the maritime challenge don't forget and of course again congratulations to otc today lots of news about otc so congratulations to them anything yeah. else no no all right congratulations guys you know moving on uh there's a contributor to to our show we really appreciate mr bell bill panoff he's from porthole magazine he's the ceo and he's gotten into tiktok i kind of like this right and uh bill used to be a cruise director on board uh carnival cruise line and of course i was a cruise director with holland america and celebrity but uh let's see this little tiktok he put together i think this is great good for you bill congratulations 
You thought the Alaska cruise season was canceled? I've got great news for you. Norwegian Cruise Line announced their return to operation in August in Alaska. Yes, whale watching, glacier viewing, and shopping is back on, and Alaska is in great need of tourism. Let's get back to cruising. All right, Bill, there you go. So it is Alaska is back open. And, and that leads us into another thing. You know, we talked a bit, uh, at the beginning of the show. What do crew members want the most? Guess what they want the most? Mm. I've seen a video with you like that. Mm. I don't know. Some of them want money. Some of them want to buy a house. But I think they want to provide an extremely unforgivable service really that's what i think they want. you know yeah. what they want most what? internet oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it only makes sense right oh, you yeah. you get on a ship you're a long way from home you would like to sit and watch cti's show but they, you? But they want cabin? money you want to buy a house as well they want it no no they do want those yeah. but also when you're away They'll from home want them most. you want to you want to you know, you want to communicate with your family. You want to. Of course, internet is a it's a is a great source. You know, some of the cruise lines uh, charge for internet. Some of them are free. Uh, I believe in uh, Viking. They were free. Viking Voyages has free internet for the crew. Uh, and as as we read the story, it came from uh, actually Cruise Industry News, and they interviewed some of the crew, and they wished to remain anonymous. They talked about Disney cruises. They talked about. Royal Caribbean, you know, they talked about Aida cruises, and the one that got the most votes was Cunard. Because wow. for Cunard, you can pay $35 a month and have free internet. Well, it's not free because you pay 35 the crew, the crew member has to pay $35? For, for the month, and, and that's not you bad. Know, as, 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 year, as time goes by with 2021, Virgin Voyage is coming. Is, if I'm not mistaken, right, I don't think they have changed, but they, have, they gave the perks of the internet for the crew member as well. Right, Even right. with a low like a limit, is limited, but you have internet. You can contact your family. So all the cruise lines should like, you know what, 2021, so let's let's give the internet. Can you imagine right now you quarantine in 14 days and you don't have internet? So but no, you, or you have to pay for? During this time of quarantine, yeah. they, they have opened the internet. It's been yeah. for free let's for open, the cruise. Let's right? call the cruise line. Let's open for everybody, right? The, the crew member, they deserve that. So let's... let's, let's give it free to everybody. Yeah, of course. No, for, to the crew members, yes. Yeah. They're there carrying the ship. They're there giving their lives. But I know also uh, uh, Royal just uh, signed with a new company mm -hmm. that has upped the internet speed for everybody. So yeah. congratulations. As the ships become more advanced, as the new ships come out, you'll find these things. You know, it's some of the older ships. When, when you have an older ship and it's already designed and it's not wired for today's technology, mm -hmm. that's when it's tough. Because as you put routers around, you know, there's a lot of steel and the new ships, uh, it's amazing what they can do. So congratulations to, to the uh, cruise lines that give it, to the cruise lines who give a discount. Good stuff. Now, as Bill mentioned earlier, Alaska is open. So the president of the United States, Joe Biden, signed into law the Alaska Tourism Restoration Act which is great. So now the ships, uh, for those who work for Carnival, those who work for Royal, for those who work for NCL, uh, those who work for Seabourn, all of these ships are going back to Alaska. Wow. And That's I'm telling you, news. Alaska, what an amazing place to go. If you've never been to Alaska, and many of the crew members have already been, you know what it's like. It's such a refreshing change. But I will tell you this, after the Alaska season is over, you're ready to go back to the Caribbean. Yeah, so you can walk the entire year. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's very nice, very nice, guys. So, so for those who have worked on ships, you know what I'm talking about. For those who haven't worked on ships, uh, have a look at uh, some of the pictures that we're showing. There are new COVID policies for the ships, right, which is very, very important. And some of the ships are saying, okay, well, we will have people who have uh, vaccines before you can go. I believe all the ships this season for Alaska, you must have a vaccine. For all the passengers and the crew. Yeah, I, I think everybody, some way, somehow, you have to, to get your vaccine done, right? So vaccine is, is getting a point that it's no more. Some Like Florida, they say, oh, we are not, it's not mandatory. You don't have to do that. But behind the scenes, guys, you have to take your vaccine. If you want to go back to the ship, as I was mentioned before here, you don't want to leave your country and get sick somewhere else. You know, so, Carnival has rolled yeah. out also some new policies regarding 
COVID-19 and the protocols for the passengers. And I believe actually last Monday they rolled it out and by Wednesday they changed it again. So this is why it's so important, guys, that if you're going back to the ship, you're going to go sailing, whatever, is that you go look for the latest information and normally either on the CDC website or the cruise lines website themselves. They will have all kinds of information. And as we today, it's kind of like, you know, what you do now is uh, old news in five minutes. So, again, we as we bring this to you, this is current. So we encourage you to do your investigation. Do not take exactly what we say here and say, oh, well, this is where I saw it. This is how it happens. Keep in mind, it will change. I admire a lot uh, NL's NCL and what they stands for. I saw that uh, there was like a back and forth with CDC and then because they, they say that all the crew members and all the passengers will be vaccinated to, to sell with NCL. And I think someone from, from CDC, CDC says that uh, because a couple of states like Florida, it's not mandatory, you cannot ask the, the passenger if that person is vaccinated and then they were thinking about to leave from Florida, which means for them, it's more important to create a safety environment into the ship and make sure everybody gonna sell with ACL, they're gonna be safe. And, and I deeply appreciate it. I think this is this is what, uh, when you when you have a, a vision in your company, when you have a mission, a purpose, you stand for that and you do not negotiate. I think this is, this is what all the cruise lines should be doing. Because when Princess uh, had the outbreak on the ship and a lot of people start to get COVID, a lot of no, like few people, but the news was saying that it was a lot. Everybody kind of destroyed the cruise industry. And maybe that's one of the reasons that we stay paused for a year. And right now they not say that, ah, oh, it's not have to be mandatory someplace. Oh yeah, you need to have your vaccine. So I think we have to stand on that. Everybody get your vaccine. Most crew members do your part. We, as as the person, the, the, the company, the, the we as the one who work behind the scene with the preparation, we have to do our jobs. Many places that we go, restaurants, I don't have to use my mask anymore as a guest, but all the employees, they're using masks internally. So you as a crew member, make sure that you have to do your part and create safety environment. You know, one of the things that uh, Governor DeSantis, uh, the governor of Florida, has said that no one can ask if you have a vaccine. Yeah. Not even it's not a passport, but you cannot ask them to show that you've been vaccinated. Now, strangely enough, next month Celebrity has already announced they're sailing out of Fort Lauderdale, and Celebrity has already said you have to be vaccinated. So yeah. anyway, there's this talk going back and forth, and and you know what happens? There's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes that we don't know about. Right there where they're meeting with governors, whether they're there, they can say, OK, we're not going to ask you in the state of Florida, but here's a website. You have to go put your information there. Well, the website hap- happens to be located out of the state of Florida. So where is the jurisdiction? And I think we'll, we'll probably find that out in the next couple of days. But Celebrity has announced that they will be sailing out of Fort Lauderdale next month. Yeah, the CDC sent all these protocols to the cruise line and they've been working for over a year having specialists, people that is really good with uh, disease and all the kind of things and outbreaks like that happen. And what happened is right now they start to drop a couple of things. Oh, masks might not be mandatory. People go ashore, might not. It's okay, of course, it's good for the passengers, but they want to make sure that the, the environment is going to be safe. Because let's say if this uh, green, red, and uh, yellow ship going to continue taking place, what happened is if someone get a COVID or some few people get COVID into a ship or 4,000 passengers, which might be normal, if someone go ashore, you can't control exactly where they go and who they hang out with. So what's going to happen? They are going to damage uh, the cruise uh, image. So of course the cruise line have to be worried about that. And maybe that's the reason they, they, they stand on that. Now everybody must be vaccinated. Well, I know we've been talking about test cruises, and this was like a couple months ago. Everybody was excited, and then it got real quiet. Now, Royal has uh, actually applied, and and the CDC has approved for them to do test cruises, and this will be out of Miami. So, uh, and and what does that mean? From from what I gathered, uh, the ship has to be uh, 10% of full capacity. In other words, if it's 2,000, 200 can go on the ship. And how can be that test? 
Well, they're still testing, but that, that's, that's the requirement, right? I, I don't know how it'll be done, but that, that's going to be the test. If I'm testing, I, want, I have to test on the real situation so I can understand how the real situation will take place. Right, right. <laughs> but I'm sure there's a lot, like we say, a lot of things going on behind uh, the, the scenes that we don't know about. Now, we, let's talk about some more positions that are available. Mm -hmm. Now, this goes for the Apollo group. This is uh, Apollo, Regent, Virgin Voyages, Morella, Carnival. Oceania. Well, we've already talked about Carnival. Oh, this is this is another division, right? So, uh, as I mentioned, Apollo, Regent, Virgin Voyages, Morella, Oceania, Carnival. This is for culinary. Culinary, of course, we need a lot of culinary cooks, assistant cooks, bait, bakers, butchers, garmangers, chef de party, soup cooks, all positions, gold, cali, gold, cold galley and hot galley. There we go. I knew we'd get that out. So, uh, again, those positions, go to our website. You can apply there. You can put your resume there. You can also do the Go Video. We have five region ships that are going back into action. And as those ships come, guess what? We need more people. Oceania is starting up three more ships. That's also positions available. Uh, there's also one video we're going to end up with here. And it's what you need to know for. 15 days before you go to sea. So they're asking, they, the cruise lines are asking every crew member to be sure before you go. And this doesn't mean going out and meeting your friends or going to a club, right? There are places that around the world that are not as open as it is here in America. So again, follow your government guidelines 14 days before you go. This is some things you need to know. Hello and welcome to CTI Group's new series. News for Crew. With this series we plan to keep you up to date with all the new guidelines for crew members. Today's episode will be about the 14 days before you set sail. A new adventure awaits, but before you can even think about setting foot on board you have to take some precautions. I know it's tempting to go outside, but during the 14 days leading up to your sail date it is important to stay isolated. Stay home, and if you're put in a hotel before sailing, stay in your room. It all comes down to trying your best to remain indoors and away from public spaces. If you have to go out, then there are things you can do to keep yourself safe. Be sure to always wear your face mask. If you can, use medical masks which are said to have more protection than cloth masks. And when you wear a mask, make sure it is covering your nose. Other things to remember if you go out is, to keep a 2 meter distance from others when in public, avoid contact with sick people and crowds, and wash your hands often. Keeping your hands clean is a necessary step in staying healthy, so wash them when you can and try to do so for at least 20 seconds. If you ever feel a cough or sneeze coming, aim it into your elbow, not your hands. Or, if you use a tissue, be sure to throw the tissue away right after using it. It is also important to keep track of your own health. Write down your temperature and any symptoms you have on a daily basis. One last responsibility is to get a PCR test 72 hours prior to traveling. Be sure to contact your agent to schedule a PCR test for yourself. Do not travel if you test positive. Keeping to these guidelines is the safest way to start out your new journey. It may seem simple, but we understand how difficult it can be to keep up with these precautions. Our highest importance is your health and safety, and hope for you to set sail smoothly. Remember to like and leave a comment on this video. If you want to stay up to date with news for crew then be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be updated on new videos. Have a great day. There you go, guys. 14 days before you go back to the ship. Some very, very important information there. We'd also like to thank everybody who joined us today as we head out of here. I just see that uh, CTI Bali just joined in and Jakarta. Hi, guys. Hi, my sister Judy, all my family out there. I haven't done that in a while, right? I want to say hello to all of them, my nieces, my nephews, and everybody around the world who comments. We do read your comments. Thank you for commenting. Please continue to comment. Please continue to like. Please continue to subscribe because that's important. That keeps our channel alive, and it shows that all this work we do here is worth it. Right? Thank you so much, guys. It's really good to have you guys here. So I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. 
Uh, don't forget, subscribe in our channel, put your comments, and also take a time, prepare your maritime challenge. Next week, we're going to start our first video. And in the description below here, you have the link that you guys can apply. Go ahead, prepare your resume, and bring your best because this can be a chance to make your dream come true. All right, guys. God bless. Stay safe. Have a great week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.